actually my wife's truck. Uh, we bought this at a uh, swap meet in Portland, Oregon. Uh, in 2016, um, it was a it was not nearly this this quality. It was flat black, and uh, the frame was kind of rough. And she wanted a shiny truck, and she wanted some horsepower. We come from a European loving family, a bunch of Audis, Audi inspiration. That's where the grill came from. That's where the power came from. That's where the stance came from. And the color is actually a Porsche. Sport Classic Gray from a 1950s era Porsche. They're actually using them today as a uh, retro color on the GT3 RS. Um, but if we look at the grill, it's actually a, uh, a mimic of a uh, our new uh, RS5 grill, which is a honeycomb style. And I tried to carry that honeycomb theme throughout. We utilized it on the uh, custom Wagner Motorsports LS3 supercharged. 935 horsepower engine. So uh, what is this grill made out of? Uh, this is actually a, a full-blown solid block of aluminum. It was originally 715 pounds. Uh, the boys over at Spark Industries in, uh, in Texas did a uh, five-axis mill job on this thing. Uh, started off at 715. It's about 15 now. Um, That's crazy. How long did it take? Uh, I, think he, I think he had it in the mill for five days. Uh, from the top to the, to the bottom, it was a uh, he had to mill the, the top panel, the inlay panel, as a separate piece. Right. Wow, that's crazy. Did an awesome job. And you did the design work, or? Uh, we we collaborated on the original design. Sorry, hot rods happen. <laughs> uh, we collaborated on the original design because we wanted to mimic the uh, RS5 setup. Okay. Um, again, European theme was my was my main goal from the carbon fiber to the honeycomb to the color, the, the custom headlights, you name it. Uh, we, we, we were really shooting for that look. These are homemade headlights, right? You made these at home? Yeah, I built these at the shop at home. I'm a, I'm a ex-car audio guy, so I'm, I'm very good at uh, uh, carbon fiber and, and fiberglass and milling and um, learned quite a bit uh, over my years. Uh, inside there is uh, four plates of aluminum and uh, sandwiched in between that is a uh, a carbon fiber mounting plate and uh, an orange halo of uh, acrylic. Also daytime running lights and signal lights are all LED. That's a dual beam Morimoto uh, headlight. So what we got in the back here is the Accuair uh, endo tanks up front. I've got a, uh, a valve tank in the front, an endo VT, and uh, in the front it's a slave tank. I wanted to make sure I had enough uh, air storage for up and down no matter what I was doing. Underneath that, you see in the uh, nice QA1 carbon fiber drive line, can handle the horsepower that I'm putting down. Under that is the uh, CNR Racing custom bespoke uh, cooling systems. I've got one oil cooler, one trans cooler. They also provided my uh, custom radiator and my uh, custom intercooler for the Whipple 2.9 under the hood. Uh, if you're looking for anything that's uh, uh, totally custom, any design that you come up with, they can build it. Uh, just in front of that, you see the uh, titanium wrapped Borla three inch exhaust that dips down underneath the um, basic saddlebag gas tank that I have right here. Um, I'm running a Borla XR1 mufflers, three inch in and out. Um, Vier, the uh, new 485 um, pumps on either side right there. Watts link in the center. It's a four link, uh, all done by uh, Michigan Metalworks running all slam specialties, SS eights uh, in the back, SS sixes in the front, ride tech suspension. All right, guys, we're inside now. Um, what you're looking at is uh, <laughs> probably three hides of uh, nice coach leather. This was built for, uh, for my wife, so I wanted to make sure I didn't buy her a purse. I wanted to make sure that she had enough uh, leather wrapped around her that she wouldn't ask for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> We started off with a bunch of uh, milled aluminum. I did all this work at home, uh, all the trim work I wanted to carry through from front to back. Um, door panels are all built out of carbon fiber and then and poly. Try to keep the, the uh, weight low. Power windows, all Rockford Fosgate uh, components in the front, subs in the back, power 1000 under the seat. Under that seat is the uh, Holly Terminator ECU. Uh, Alpine Halo 9 full touchscreen. I've got 14 outputs where I can control lights and 
functions of the vehicle all from that point. Powertrain Control Solutions offers a push button transmission mated to my 4L80E transmission. So bang through the gears here and then I go straight to the paddles and uh, get to business. So this is where it all started. Um, I bought the wife the truck, as I said, at the, uh, at the swap meet. It was flat black, had orange wheels. I liked it. I wanted to throw a small block 350 in it or a Ford motor, whatever, and uh, just simply cruise it. Didn't want to get all crazy. She wanted a shiny car. Um, she likes her Audi performance. I simply drew this on a cocktail napkin. We were at dinner one night, drew it on a cocktail napkin. What do you think about this as a logo? And uh, that began the inspiration from that honeycomb, that original honeycomb design that we started off with and the, uh, the 40S kind of reminiscent of a uh, RS5 or a S4 or an S3, that kind of thing, that whole idea. There's, there's already an S40 and it's a Volvo. So right. 40S kind of made its way into the, into the build. It all started with this logo right here.